So we have an ancestor gene that during replication accidentally got duplicated. As a result, we ended up with two copies of that same gene. We know genes acquire mutations over the course of evolution and become different. So one copy of that gene acquired mutations and became gene 1A, whereas the second copy of that gene acquired mutations and became gene 1B. As a result, we have two different genes which are duplicated from a single ancestor gene. As we know these two genes have been duplicated from a single gene, these are known as paralogs of each other. Paralogs usually have different functions because of no selection pressure on them. Remember these two genes are present in a single species which can give rise to new species by speciation. The new species will acquire their own copies of gene 1A and gene 1B from their parent species by speciation. These genes that are acquired by speciation are known as orthologs. They usually have same function as in the ancestor due to selection pressure. So as a recap, paralogs are the genes that are duplicated during evolution. Whereas orthologs are the genes that are acquired by speciation from a single ancestor. As an example of paralog, we have beta globin gene and alpha globin gene in mouse that are duplicated from a single globin gene. Whereas alpha globin gene in mouse as well as humans will be orthologs of each other. Both Paralogs and orthologs are known as homologs due to ancestral relationship. Subscribe if you like this video or maybe watch one of our other videos over here.